All right, looks like we're live. Uh, Tim and I are back on stage to say hello and a little bit of a goodbye. So we're almost wrapping up the first ever virtual DrupalCon Global and we wanted to take a few minutes just to give some highlights and say hi and hopefully we'll uh, see a few of you in the chat and, and hear what you think and, and how you how your experience was and, and we hope that everybody had a great time. I can't believe there's only 58 minutes of DrupalCon left. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to believe. Um, but DrupalCon, strictly speaking, doesn't end just because the sessions are over. So True. any of you out there who want to contribute to the Drupal project itself, contributions will continue. Um, anyone can attend, not just ticket holders. And tomorrow is the major contribution day for DrupalCon. So the website's up on screen now, contrib2020.getopensocial.net. So I do hope you'll join us for contributions. Um, and be a part of making the future of Drupal. Yeah, and better yet, bring a friend who hasn't contributed before and get them involved in Contribution Day, and, and that would be great. So Drupal DrupalCon t-shirts, we have our t-shirts, Tim. Yes, it's amazing. <laughs> they, they arrived just in time for the event. It's fantastic, so, so good. Uh, there's certain... my, yeah, mine literally arrived this afternoon. I was like running to the mailbox to get it in time to have it for today. Oh, and then yeah. yeah, there's Matthew and Batty. <laughs> it's, it was great to see you all on Twitter sharing your excitement. Um, now, I think we have to hand it over here to uh, to DJ Payroll, Angie Sabin from the uh, Drupal Association Woo! team to talk about the music. How did you choose all this awesome music, Angie? Um, well, I spent about three hours the week before the conference in the evening adding stuff that I love um that felt representative of what felt global to me had to throw some prints in there shout out to minneapolis since that's where we were supposed to be right um and then based on how people were reacting i just kind of added more of what seemed to be really going well ryan um from staff threw in a couple tunes rachel threw in a tune so it was super fun so it was a collaborative effort um and then brendan was um, our press play guy. He really kept it going and make, made sure that it was up when it needed to be up. So thanks to, to Brendan and to Ryan and Rachel for helping me with that. Yes, thanks for making that of work. Course. I was excited about Drupal Dance Party. Yep, it was and fun. you were only DJ. There was a, a DJ Jason over in the Four Kitchens booth rocking the tunes as well. It was really, really good. But of course, it wouldn't be complete if we didn't have a group photo. So you'll remember that yeah. after the Dries note, we decided that um, we were going to have everybody take selfies and share them on CelebrateDrupal.org so that we could assemble a photo collage for you. And in fact, the CelebrateDrupal.org team is even working on a version that's going to have a nice big drop all assembled out of all the photos. But here are some of our favorites that we wanted to share. Oh. And the surprise one, <laughs> the Dries hair glue. We finally learned the secret of the spiky hair. Um, so if you were in the Dries Q&A, someone asked, what hair product do you use? And I thought, oh, OK, this is, we'll find out. And he said, glue. And I was like, we're going to need some more information on this. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's yellow, and it's called glue. So then he tweeted exactly what he meant. And so I'm glad that it's a hair product and not actually glue. Although Not apparently he used, to, he used to use egg whites, he said, in the beginning <laughs> days. So that's now so we know. punk rock. And that's our reaction to glue. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, you can absolutely still submit photos to celebrate Drupal.org. You can keep doing it. We had a huge turnout from the Pets of DrupalCon as well. Um, everybody sharing during the Pets of DrupalCon boff and in other places. Um, I think Angie, yep, there we go. There's Walter. Where's Walter right now, Angie? Hanging out? I think he went outside <laughs> for a walk. He's over it. He's really outdoors. That, that, that sounds like the final hour of DrupalCon. Time to, time to take a break. <laughs> There's Carrie. With, that was Carrie and her cat, too. Oh, and the dogs. I saw Alana's guinea pigs earlier. Those were so cute. Amazing pets of DrupalCon. So good. <laughs> So I saw some comments, people said that was their favorite part of DrupalCon was the pet boss. It was pretty yeah. awesome. It was really good, but I don't know. There were a lot of really, really good elements of DrupalCon. Um, I think 
my favorite was definitely this, the Penguin Corps um, and their keynote presentation about their program to put open source in schools was unbelievable. Yeah. Um, these kids are going to rule the world. It's amazing. Yeah, then they were, they were, their presence on screen was just amazing. And, and they didn't seem nervous at all and, and had such great content. And I really do hope Drupal camps will partner with local schools and take that playbook and go yeah, put absolutely. open course in their local schools. I know, I know Stu from, uh, from the Penguin Corps is, is happy to share those resources with everyone. So I hope people check it out, check it out. So these are some more of just the wonderful highlights from the event, uh, getting to see the faces and share things together. It was just a truly awesome experience being with you all, finding that uh, sense of community, even though we were all virtual, I think we were totally blown away by how well we, that managed to work, even though we're all doing this from home. So I literally almost waved to the picture of the people waving. Like I get so excited to see other faces because I miss people. <laughs> it's so true. So um, thank you all for some sharing Some of the pictures these. from not only Celebrate Drupal, but that people have posted online with hashtag DrupalCon photo. You are absolutely welcome to keep participating in all of this. Keep joining us. There's Nicole. Oh, there's, yeah, Nicole <laughs> on the Drupal Association team over on the right of this slide, working behind the scenes to get you all the messaging you needed to make this event happen. Huge kudos. Right. Fantastic. Apparently, we went digital <laughs> beyond digital, and some of you out there put together Drupal swag inside Animal Crossing. I think, love I it. think this, is wow. just, this is too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's just enough. I love it. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, there's Tim and Matthew again. And Tanisha oh, on our team. Hey, Tanisha. Tanisha's been hanging out, supporting the event all over the place as well. Um, a huge kudos to her. I think in the Indian time zone, it means she's been staying up to like five in the morning every day of DrupalCon. Yeah. So I was gonna say late nights, amazing. but it was late nights that became early mornings. So thank you, yeah, Tanisha. Absolutely. Oh, and there's Batty. And let's see, wasn't there some news about Batty? I, I feel like Aaron Wind maybe later winner. On. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, and there she is again. Again, hmm, any minute now, we may come up with a, with a little more highlight of that. It's just fantastic. Oh, and when Drees would meet people in networking and they got so excited, that was so fun to see on Twitter. I love it. Yeah, the networking feature was a surprise hit. Um, <laughs> as an introvert myself, I'm afraid, I was pretty much scared away from it the whole time, but... I heard lots of great stories. Of course, when uh, Srabi met her husband in the other room, so cute. <laughs> some funny, <laughs> funny interactions as well, for sure. Yeah, people either loved the networking button or they thought it was gonna blow something up and it was uh, the worst thing ever. But I love that people tried it and, and got to meet some cool new Drupal community members. So that's, that's really neat. It's really, really cool. And we had so many people, so many of our 150 plus scholarship recipients. Do I have that right, Angie? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who just uh, were wonderful attendees at the event, participating in BOFs in the chat, um, tweeting about the event. It's been great to have you all here. Those of you who are listening in, um, it's wonderful that we could um, have you with us and joining the Drupal community. And there we go. There's, there's, there's the yeah. award we were talking about. So. <laughs> Batty Sonia Breitart winning the Aaron Winboard Award for just being a wonderful part of the community. I don't think there's any more deserving person who could have won the award this year. Yay. Very excited for Batty. Well, we've got to wrap it up with a few final thank yous. Heather, you want to take that away? Well, Carrie will come through the screen if I don't thank the sponsors. So thank you, DrupalCon sponsors, because we literally could not have done this without you. You pledged your support early on as we were transitioning and said, we'll stay with you and just really made all of this possible as we tried to figure out what DrupalCon was going to be this year. And this is where we landed. We really appreciate all the financial support. And DrupalCon also, Global th Volunteers. Tim, I'll let you take that one. <laughs> sure. We also want to thank all of the volunteers who monitored sessions, who participated in the program committee, um, who worked on the new um, steering committee, um, who, who involved themselves in mentoring at the contribution that's still ongoing. 
so many people come together to make this possible. It's not an event that can happen just with staff. It's not an event that can happen just with the help of an event company. This is a true community event and we all came together to make it possible and we all thank you um, for everything that you've done for us. Yay. And the DrupalCon speakers. So, I mean, three days, 12 hours a day of content uh, that would not have been possible without people saying, yes, I'm willing to go on this journey with you. And I'm not sure what it means to speak at DrupalCon Global, but I'll do it anyway. Uh, so thank you so much to everybody that said yes, uh, that brought your content over from Minneapolis or to the people where we said, hey, we're doing this thing and we want you to join us. And even though you're not even really sure what DrupalCon is, trust us, it's gonna be awesome. So um, I just am really excited about all the speakers I saw in the sessions and the lightning talks, the main stage. I thought everybody did just a great job and I'm excited actually to go back and watch the sessions next week. Uh, to either see things I didn't see or to reabsorb a lot of the messaging uh, that came through. Yeah, I'd like to add a little sneaky thank you in here too. I think we all want to give a huge thank you to Bethany on the Drupal Association team who's worked with all of the speakers behind the scenes, making sure they had their rehearsals and their materials and their speaker guide and troubleshooting things at the last minute. It's amazing the work you've done, Bethany, to make DrupalCon a success. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to Brendan behind the scenes, supporting everybody speaking as well on the main stage, getting things up and going. It's been really awesome. Yeah, it was an interesting, interesting transition for the team. So the team knows DrupalCon, but we had to learn Hoppin and to make those two things come together. So it's been quite the learning curve and everybody's been putting in a lot of, you know, as, as Drupal always does, it comes together and it was successful. And um, for every moment where we weren't sure what was going to happen and, and should we do this and is this the right decision for every person I got to say hi to and every collaboration discussion I saw and everybody that I that read their chat about connecting, it was worth it every minute. So thank you for going on this journey with us. And I'm so glad that we were able to have a collaborative event and have some version of DrupalCon this year. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Yes, thank you everyone. We thank hope we'll you. see you in Barcelona as time goes on. Um, have a wonderful rest of your evening, morning or afternoon, depending on where you are. And hopefully we'll see you at the contribution day tomorrow. Bye-bye right. everyone. Bye, Thanks everybody. again.